Hello, guys. Welcome back to our stream. What's up? What's up? This elevator music got me feeling lifted. We're only going up. I know. Hi, Deepake. Hello, Crypto Dude. Hello, Mikay Sua. Hello, Kartik. What's up? What's up, everyone? I know. I need this game. I understand. Yes. Everyone has been looking forward to this game. Luna, yes, go to the roof. All right, any any free giveaways? Um, any free giveaway? That is a really really good question. So, if you wanted to know any good giveaway, any free giveaway, make sure you you know follow all of these links and follow all these handles so you will see the latest uh, event that we are doing. So that's why. It's very important that you follow all of these things in order to like understand what we're doing, what are we, what's going on with us. So, yes, very important. So, hi guys, I'm Jesse. For those who know me, welcome back. And for those who don't know me, welcome to another Seascape stream for Moonscape. So here. We are talking about um, this latest DeFi game called Moonscape, and um, I'm your host to present all of the things for you. And today we will have our very uh, good guest that it's a really good friend of mine. He's been here for, on the show for the first episode, and now he's coming back again to uh, give us more juice for the the latest Moonscape game. So without further ado, let's welcome back our um, game designer, Erlen. Hi, Erlen. Hello. 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 Can you hear me well? Yes, I can hear you perfectly. How are you? How is it going today? Good, good, good. Excited. Excited to be here as usual. Nice. What time is it over there? Uh, 8 p.m. 8 p.m. Nice. Um, same here. So uh, I joke you not. Right now it's 8 p.m. Right, folks. I'm still drinking coffee. <laughs> I'm like, gotta keep that pumping, you know. Well, Energy I was just drinking tea until not long ago. So yeah. Oh yeah, sure, for sure. So that's we're gonna we're gonna hype until 2 a.m. today. Yeah. Let's do it. Let's do it. Exactly. So hello to everyone. Hello to 1.k, 1.4k viewers. Wow. A lot of, a lot of fans of yours. How do you feel about becoming a streaming celebrity now? I'm looking forward to it, but I know <laughs> it's going to take too much time to give all the autograph, but maybe I can make my autograph an NFT. So, you know, yes, yes. Just you valuable. never know, right? Little, little by little, you'll you'll become the the the, the face of of Moonscape. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's the idea. Yes. Yes, I, I like your beer, by the way. How long do you grow it? Mm, I actually cut it, so. I cut oh it yeah, long. you you trim it today. It was longer, yeah. It was way, for the way for the stream. <laughs> Literally, <laughs> yes. Like this this afternoon. Oh yeah, did you did you did you put a little makeup on as well? No, that, that nah, I miss it. That's why it. it's so shiny. Ah, uh, no worries. You 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 look fantastic. Thank you. All right. So I heard that. Oh, so before we start anything, I would I want to um address that we recently sent out um you know community care package so how about we can talk about a little bit of this um yeah perfect. so yeah so what would you like to talk about yeah so in the community package the we address most of the feedback that we got from the early access and like the previous early access like was uh like fin finished it like 15 days ago uh, so yeah, we can talk about the points that we talk in the um, in the care package. Sure. Uh, so you want to go one by one, or of course, just... sure. So 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 the first one is the user feedback survey. So 
Um, I remember that there are a lot of people giving you back、uh, feedback from the survey. So, do you wanted to talk about like what are the most、um, most、uh, survey that jump out of your eye, like jump out and then like catch your eyes? Like what kind of、uh, feedback that that you 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 are paying a lot of attention to? So yes,、yeah, so in for the Moonscape、uh, early access,、uh, the first、uh, version that we had, there was a like a private Telegram channel, like to talk、mm-hmm. like for the people that join the early access, they have an icon and they can join Telegram and basically talk directly to me and to to the rest of the team. And one of the things that was very interesting to me is that it was not obvious、uh, when you are selecting the building. A lot of people have trouble with that. Like they didn't know where to click or where to go. So for me, it was obvious. So that that is a good thing of doing this kind of early access or or close betas to get the feedback for things that you maybe not be aware of.、It. And about the the battle system too for the cities for the aliens, it was mostly fine. For for the cities, it was like. At the beginning, it was too easy. Like they couldn't just lay, like just stop your rover close to the building and just attack and spam attack without stop. And they, because the damage was too little from the turret, so they didn't die. So they just、mm-hmm. just can stop there. And kill. So then we increased the damage, but then it was the opposite. It was way too difficult. And it was like even the most hardcore players in, in, the, in the group in the early access were like, okay, now I, I cannot even destroy one building before I can could destroy all five. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, and then and so then we remake it again and increase it、uh, more time. We leave the difficulty the same, but increase the time so they can move around more and have more time to to deal with it. But yeah, something you, very important、mm-hmm. is that.、Uh, Some a lot of from the feedback,、uh, it was like many people wanted the battle to be even easier. But the something important that I, I want、uh, that I wrote in the in the community package is that it should not be too easy because you are stealing resources from other players. Yeah. So making it too easy will be like the other the other player will literally come to the game every day and find out that a good percentage of the resources are being taken. Because it's too easy, so it should never be too easy. So we、exactly. we try, of course, we try to balance, but not like making it something casual. Yeah. So, like, I I think that's really interesting. How, like, from a game designing perspective, you're like an artist. Working very closely to your artwork, but at the same time that you couldn't see a full picture because you're too focused on a lot of details and a lot of different things. And it's always really good to have like another third party of eyes to tell you, oh,、uh, maybe this one should be fixed. That one is a little odd. And so it's really important, I think, that we care a lot about the cost, um, the players' feedback and、uh, how players. Experience the game. So, I remember in the early access, and even before the early access, when you firstly first show me the game,、um, uh, there are so many things that that I love about it, and at the same time, there are so many things that I will tell you that oh, I have in difficulties with this, I have in difficulties with that, and so I think it's really important that that slowly we are.、Uh, Telling we are、uh, accumulating those questions from people and the feedback, and slowly we are fixing it one by one. But at the same time, you are also true to yourself. For example,、um, uh, the game shouldn't be too easy because you're attacking at attacking other people's city. So I think it's really we are striking the balance between what makes it a good game. So like you need to be a little bit of challenging, but you also need to have the the sense of progression. So it's really important that I think right now for for ex- for Moonscape, for example, this is the sec-、uh, seventh episode that we're doing. So I have for I think right now I have seven hours input for my game. So I really can see like my progression with my city, my rovers, and my skills when it comes to attacking aliens and attacking the cities. So like it's really, I, I think it really starts starting to like build that sense of accomplishment and the sense of progression. So I think that's really important. So also speaking of that, um, so um, 
in the initial release of the early access, um, the the map would suffer uh, quite a bit of the dark environment interaction, right? So, um, you wanted to talk about a little bit. So, for example, the alien attacks are the only way that we get to see on the map. On and like, do you wanted to talk a, a little bit about it? Yes. So. The thing is that at the beginning, the plan was that the moon wa uh, was supposed to feel empty, like a real, uh -huh. like a real our real moon, the one yeah. that I am streaming from. from right <laughs> um, but then, so that was the idea, like the, the, to make the players some, uh, have some feeling of loneliness and like, mm -hmm. but so then it was too can... boring. It was really yeah. too boring. Uh, so, so I do like I, I got a lot of feedback asking for more interaction in the map, like mm -hmm. besides the cities and the aliens, like do more, more things. And I cannot say about anything right now, like of future features, but it's definitely something I, I am working on. And sure. and the first thing is uh, to fight the aliens. So it's going to, so because we already have that, we are going to start trying to improve that before we yes. add more, more features because we already have it and we can just improve instead of creating something new. Uh, but yeah, it's something definitely I'm thinking about all the time because uh, for me, the most important is that the game is fun to play. Yes, exactly. And I feel like the game is already a lot of fun. And right now we're just putting more things into it. I think it's really funny when you, when you, when you talk about like, the first initial idea is that you want it to be very deserted, like a, like a Martian Man, like the movie Martian Man, where like yep. the moon is super empty and completely empty. But I remember uh, at the beginning when I just started this game, it's really funny for me that, um, so I'm the kind of person that even with a Google map, even with the arrow telling me where to go, I still cannot find the the building that's right in front of me. So it's really funny how like when I first first started this game, I leave I leave my I leave my city and then I will never find it. Like I can't find it back. I, I, I'm completely lost in, 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 in the in the super big moon. So it's really fun to um hear your idea and hear your thoughts and then like you try it and then you realize that oh this doesn't work and then we fix it and i think this kind of like back and forth is really interesting and what makes a game really good so yes that like really good on that so let's talk about some major fixes that we did so do you want to talk about what are what what are the major fixes that you do with this game after the early access yeah, so something important besides they, they mention it that we fix the battle and we balance the battle, it's not really yeah. fixed. We have a lot of technical fixes. So like at the beginning, it was a, when the game was trying to fetch the, the data, like when you enter a building or you enter a city or you want to see your DeFi pool, it crashes a lot. So we fix the technical part that was a good accomplish because accomplishment because now we have a, like a solid uh, database communication with the with the client of the game, so that was something. Also, uh, in the the way because before it was uh, only like the team testing. So when we tested with with about 100 accounts that we had in the in the early access, remember that everyone that this it was very very close. I like only yeah. a limited amount of people were able mm -hmm. to to access. Uh, then we found a lot of issues on how the client uh, refreshed things on the map. So now we fix that. It was very common that things disappear from the map. Like you go, you went to a part and in your, it was kind of funny actually, because in the map you can see the icon, but in yeah. the, like in the mini map, you can see the icon, but in the screen, there was nothing. So it was like, it's invisible or, or what, what is the point? Oh yeah. Exactly. Yes, that that's really fun. So I'm very glad that that fi that got fixed. So yeah. that's really interesting. Oh, and <clears throat> Deep Bake, one of the viewers said that we should add Erlen's house to the moon so the rovers can stop for some snacks. <laughs> Are you gonna prepare? Because uh, as as uh, allegedly you're living on the moon, right? So um, no, that that's a well. You can see it. Oh, true. <laughs> 
Yes. So, so that's a well-known fact that you're living on Earth. So,、uh, so Deepak, one of the gamers, suggested that we should add, like, in in the map, we should add Erlen's house. So, like, every time when rovers like hungry or something, or they 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 are tired of battling battling, we should we should just go hang out in your place. Yeah. Every time your rover is destroyed by an alien, I give them more support. Yeah. Your. Yes. Yes. <laughs> Just jail. <gyal. laughs> That's good.、Gyal. That's great. <laughs> yeah. So, so how about、um, so we talk about what has been fixed and what has been done. What about something that what can we look forward to in the future? Yes,、yeah, sure. So first,、uh, in the near future, so that means in the next version, I am、mm -hmm. uh, we are going to have more cities in the map, so per player. So instead of having、uh, one city,、um, because the previous early access was only for、so、for people that have a city NFT. So when、mm -hmm. they import the city, it was they couldn't like do and customize their city. It was already everything built for them. But then、yes. we can we are going to introduce more cities so they can like build a city from scratch and have the like the ability to have the whole thing. Uh, made personalized by them, and also I'm going to add some missions. That is something a, a very important、uh, feedback. Yes,、yeah, so people are like, okay, I I really don't know, don't have a goal, something I should do. Yeah, should, like hang around. So now I'm going to introduce a lot of missions. Actually, they're going to be、uh, daily missions that you need to complete every day. Like I don't know, go and kill a number of aliens or go and extract a number of resources, things like that. And also,、uh, and and similar, like also it will be seasonal mission that will be for the whole session, so you need to complete before the things end. And as usual,、um, this the, will increase in difficulty, so it's not going to be so easy to 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 finish. And、uh, I'm going to do several, many, many like smaller.、Um, Improvements like、mm -hmm. better menus,、uh, more interaction with the aliens, like with the alien attacks, several things that that is. Wait,、like、so you're gonna increase the difficulties for the aliens? No, but I'm going to make it more rewarding actually. Okay,、to、good,、fight. good. I was just gonna say that if you make it more difficult, then I can't play anymore because I'm so、Me. bad at video gaming. I'm so bad.、Yeah. <laughs> I thought okay, so I thought I thought it's it's the game that is difficult. But then I saw Karin play it. I saw the other another host, a Chinese host, play it. He is so good at it. He's just like up, down, right, at, and, and just finish. And, and I was、Play、like,、yeah. "What? It, it's it's、yeah. really just my. It's me. It's me. I I no, I've I, already have a full disclaimer before every every stream. I'm just telling people, I'm I'm loving." Watching people play games, but when it comes to me playing game myself, I'm so bad at it. <laughs> so that's really good.、Um, and also, you're talking about we're gonna improve, we're gonna have more city that we can customize, right? That's really interesting. Yeah. yeah, because right now I encounter a problem where I don't have enough. I I, I don't have enough buildings. I want more buildings. Mm -hmm. So with more cities, I can have more buildings in inside my city. So that's a very exciting news. And also,、um, your the second thing you're talking about is、um, uh, the missions. The missions, right? So the missions are for for daily missions. It's really much of a you know the what we talked about before when it comes to the sense of accomplishment and sense of、mm -hmm. a progress. So. Setting goals for、uh, like little goals for each one. So like every day when you wake up, you have something to look forward to. That's a very interesting things. Like,、um, it's really fun. So you're gonna have a daily goal and a, a seasonal goal as well. Yes. Nice. Yes, so that's really fun. And yeah, I think that covers all of our community care package. So for those who didn't see, didn't get the the informations, there you go. Just live stream here. So if you want more of these kind of things on time and wanted to get the latest、um, notification with these kind of things, we just make sure that you follow our handles, and you can always see our latest news.
So let me just、um, go ahead and saying hi to everyone. So hello to、uh, Deep Bake. He's very excited about having、uh, be able to have three cities that that in his hand that he can use. That's really fun.、Um, and and hello to all the Binance users. Hello to the chat, and hello to the stream, and hello to 1.6k follow、uh, viewers right now. So hello to everyone, and welcome to our Moonscape stream. So right now, Erlen,、um, I heard that you have something good for me <laughs> when it、yes. comes to game. So apparently,、uh, there's gonna be something new to the game, is it? And we're gonna do a little test drive on it. <laughs> Let's see. All right. Let me. Finger, pull finger out. cross it. It's not let's, too cool. Let's finger cross it. I'm sure it'll be fun. So, all right. So, let me just log in. So, always remember you need to connect to your wallet. For the early access only, not for the full release. Yes.、Yeah. Oh wow! What is this? So now,、uh, so don't click because it's not finished. So it's going to、okay. move by itself. It's not going to wait for you to click. That that is something will be done later. So one of the things that、uh, player have more problems when when the previous early access is that、mm -hmm. they didn't know what to do because the, I the, I wrote a series of developer diaries, but it's something that you really need to exit the game and read it. There is nothing inside.、Mm -hmm. So the、yes. first thing they are going to in the next version, the first thing they are going to encounter is the tutorial. So this is what you are doing right now. Wow! So, so we have a、finished. tutorial now. Yeah,、wow. we have a tutorial now. That that is me in my moon、uh, suit when I go out of of my city of my house. Okay. And if you so you need to continue to complete the tutorial before you can start、uh, playing the game. It's very fast. It's very. It doesn't take too long. Okay. Okay. So use the. So there is a point. Yeah. So the the,、mm -hmm. the NPC, the astronaut, is going to explain things to you, and there is a point that you need to do what the what the astronaut is saying to continue. So like、okay. like right now. So let me try S D W L S A W A S D or arrow keys to move the rover. Try to move it to the empty city area and use the mouse to click. Oh, this will open the city creation panel. Giving okay, all right. I see. Oh, so so it started to okay. So I can name my city here. I see. So will this have um someone voice over it in the future or or probably,、now? but not not in the next version, but in the future.、Mm. Yeah, it's, it's, a good, it's, it's something that that I would like to have. I see. All right. So yes, you can name your city, and if、okay. you mint your city as an NFT, that name will remain. So if someone、okay. if someone buy your city later, it will have the same name. But in the future, you can rename a city in case you buy an NFT and you don't like the name, you just simply rename it. I see. All right. So so this is the NPC. Let's buy a testing building and continue with the training. Nice. So, so oh, okay. So now, now I I can see that there's um blocks of、yep. like、uh, icons. So so I can understand which which、uh, like where can I click, right? Yeah. Correct. All right. So we have asset mill. We have transaction square. We have Capital Forge. We have Power Plant, Resource Corp, and Industry Inc. and Refinery Construction Complex. So, so in my old one, I don't have an Industry Inc. So I'm gonna go ahead and say yes to it. And yeah, just just it's just to show that is how it's being built. And then we、mm. move to, immediately move to the next part of the. Ah, I see. Okay. I just have a glimpse of my um my my building. It looks beautiful. Move the rover to the resource point and click on the icon to to open extraction. Ah, click your construction. Oh,、uh, click yes to construct your executor. 
All right. Oh, so it's like waiting for it to be built. Yeah. Yeah. If it won't be added to your total automatically, you need to visit. Okay. I'll need to unpack. I see. So I should click it. Mm -hmm. Do I need to try to unpack it to? You can try to collect, just to collect. Collect. Ah, you will notice bigger resource points. There will be boost. Okay. Ah, the Cosmo Horror. Am I going to encounter one now? Oh, I do. Ah. Oh. Hello, my old enemy. Oh, great. We are not supposed to fight just to get scared about it. Yeah, I will die. <laughs> As you explore the map, you may be attacked by ferocious aliens. This battle cannot skip and you must fight. Oh, no. <laughs> this one cannot fight. Okay, the, the, there is a bug there. The alien should appear on the screen. So, okay. Just... No worries. Okay. After the face, you can defend. Okay. So okay. most probably you will fight some kind of invisible alien. Uh huh. So will like they let me? Ninja alien. Mm hmm. There's no better training than practice. That's a really good. Oh, <laughs> I'm so bad at this. You cannot see it, but it's there. More than it's you. there. Ah, okay. Oh, this is the first time I fully click wow, on it. Congratulations. Yeah, I know. Ah, ah. I always miss the last one. My brain cannot function. Hey! Ah, 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 ah. Okay. okay. All right. And that's it. It's not finished, as you can see, definitely. It still needs the part about the city attack. Okay. Uh, yes, the city attack. Later. All right. So this is, um, you know, work in progress. But I think that's a really, really good demonstration for the tutorial that everyone can see. So now, uh, yes, so the, the idea is that we increase the amount of players that will play every early access. So mm. the, or every like session we do, if we do a, 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 another closed beta or an open beta or something like that, it, the idea is to have more and more players every time. So I, it was necessary to have a proper tutorial it, because the next time it won't be possible to talk to every of one of them. like. We did previously. Yeah. yeah, I think it's really important that we, we show the tutorial at the beginning. This reminds me of a little bit of Apex and Halo, like where uh, you enter the game, it kind of just like, you know, they drop you right there and there, mm -hmm. but then like they give you a, just a little bit of like warm up and then you're on your own. So that's, yeah, that's really fun. I, I, I think it's really cool that we get to like have the, to, that to, to tutorial to, to see how, how things go. So yeah, but I understand that this is a testing uh, yes. area and also like, yes. And also like, uh, this is not my old city. Oh, it is? No. It is? It oh, is. Okay. Uh, it's prob it's, the thing is that the, the database is probably copied. So it is the city, but everything you do here, it won't appear in the the version you usually play. Ah, okay. All right, then let's change it to. All right, let me change it to my actual. To the your um, usual environment, yes. Mm, my 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 actual progress, uh, link. So let's see. Log in. Connect to wallet. Very important. For only for testing. The game, when it's full yeah. release or open beta, will be available for everyone. No need to connect anything. Yeah. Ooh, look how much resources I got since the last time you're here. Nice. And I noticed nice. that I noticed that right now that whenever I log in, it stays where I were last time. 
it's、yeah. not like every time when I come back, I come back to、um, my 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 city.、Mm-hmm. So yeah, yes, the game will、um, remember where you left before. You... Yeah, I th- I I just noticed that. Yeah. So when 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 did you、um, fix that? And as always, I forgot where my home is. <laughs> the blue, dark blue in the middle. Yeah, I know. I I pull out my map. I was I I wasn't like if there's no map, I cannot know. Yes, where I remember、home. when when we were working on the game and the game didn't have a mini map, and、mm. I say to the to the programmer, okay, I cannot keep working on this until you make the map because you can never find my city. Yeah, I I can't. Once I leave, I'm it's gone. It's a goner. <laughs>、exactly. so, so yeah, this is um. But you my, should go my... and, and claim and like claim your resources because remember、ah, the yeah, resources true, true, are not not going to be added immediately. You need to go. True, true, true. Good strategy. So like in, I've been I've been seeing many people. Playing this game now while I'm playing it, so I, I, it's very interesting how like different people have different strategy. I think that's what makes this game so interesting, is that everyone has their own strategy, their own focus, and th- what they want to do. And so it's really cool to see how how people's priorities are. It, it's it's what it's it, it kind of like shows their personality as well. So I I don't know I I I feel very、um, like I I feel very very、um, connected about it because for example like I can I can see that you are very resources oriented so the first thing you you ask me to go to do is to collect my resources and when I was、um, doing the stream with Karin he always just telling me. Go fight the alien first. So like it's like the game, the the fighting aspect is what he excited about. So I can see like everyone has a different approach and the different priorities. Yes.、Yeah. Remember in the previous early access, one of the the players say that he didn't really care about the resources. All his resources was stealing from other people. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah that one. The whole strategy was simply destroying as many cities and buildings as possible. Yes. They didn't even care about the resources. Yes, that that's true. Yeah, that's, that, a, that's, that's, that's true. a very valid strategy. It is a really good strategy. Yes. And like we have a、uh, another uh the the old Sixkate fan. He's playing it and he said that all he focused on is upgrading his rover. So. It's really, it's really cool to like know who who likes to do what. So I actually have a question for you, Erlen. So,、um, when we're doing the rover research, for example, let me pull it out. I think it's yeah, it's this. So I choose, I choose the missile and and the railgun, which is.、Um, I remember if it's so there are three types, right? So there are persistence, of、uh, positions, and offense. I wanted to、um, ask, what are the difference? So what、yeah. is what? Yeah. Yes.、Yeah, so the the thing is that the skills are divided in categories. So、mm-hmm. offense will be attack and speed.、Uh, precision is rate of fire and. And、so what is rate of fire? Yes.、Yeah, so when you go to, if you, to, we can check that right now. You can go、yeah. to a, a attack a city. Okay. So most of the skills are related to attacking city. Some、oh. affect also the aliens, but most、mm-hmm. are related to attack. And the speed will affect every everything. So will affect all also the speed of the rover in the in the map. So if you go and attack a city. Yes. So I'll start attack. attack. Yeah. Yes. So if you press on the on the space bar to, to attack, yes,、yeah. it it will. So as you can see, the bottom on the bottom right corner, it has a、mm-hmm. like a like a cooldown. So when you、yes. attack, it needs a cooldown. So that will the rate of fire will make that cooldown faster. 
Ah, I so see. you can spam more attacks. So at level 10, it will be, or a level, high level, I'm not sure if it's like 7 or 10, it will be possible to attack several times before the dome comes back. See. Like that. And you are about to die. I am. Oh. Bye. <laughs> So, 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 um, I, I didn't catch the last one, so, mm -hmm. so, the, what, what is it about the dome? Yes, yeah, so when the, you can only uh, de try, um, try to destroy a building if the dome of the city is off. But yeah. Because you have a cooldown, you cannot join. <laughs> Okay, so your your so so Erla has become an alien. Uh, he is a t he got attacked by the by the alien, so he 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 got transformed into an alien sound. So um, so what he said is that when I got attacked, I when when I'm invading a city, um, when when I'm invading a city, I will need to. For example, wait until the shield is off, and and then we could um, keep on attacking. So that's what what he says. Deep Bake says La lasted a long time this time at least. I know. Yes, um, it's it's interesting how like um, for example different different um, time and like he's moon internet is different so let me bring him back let let me try to bring him back hey, hi tiger you hear me now? yeah you i can hear you and see you but i don't know how long can you last <laughs> oh nah nah it's a goner it's a goner <laughs> all right so Erlen will be instructing me underneath, uh, behind the scene. So he's behind the shadow now. So, so right now we are talking about, um, I would love to ask Erlen. So for example, now we talk about offense and rate of fire and attack. What about precision? So what does precision do? Um, so I think that every every attack is related to the city and related attacking and raiding the city and everything is related to, uh, for example, when you facing the aliens. So yes, let me go to my city. See. So you know this is offense. So we have rate. Rate of fire, and we have attack. And I remember uh, here we have missile and railgun. So Erlen said that precision is a category that includes rate of fire and range. All right. So for example, what is the difference between a missile and a railgun? So I remember when we we're raiding the city. You can see the railgun and the, the the missile. Oh, okay. So Erla said the missile can bypass the dome. Um, so we don't need to wait for the dome to be off. Then we can we can still attack it. I see. And for the railgun is sh uh, shooting. You, you just shoot. No need to aim. You just shoot it. You, you just click it and you shoot fire out. So I actually, and I, I, I'm actually really curious. So when the two, the city will have the laser shooting at you. So um, is there a way, is there a thing for it to, for example, shoot it like each time when they shoot it's slow, slower or that is something that we will need to do when we are um for example if i'm protecting my city i need to do it in the for example the city a uh, defense remember i have uh let me go pull out no not this one no, this one this 
yeah, it's like this one, right? The city defense. So, so the amount of fire and the how rapid it is, it's affected by um how much I upgrade my defense. So I I'm curious in this graph, um, what are the what is the range and what is speed mean? Like, is the speed is the fat the more I upgrade it, the faster the laser beam shoots out. And like it's, uh, I'm very curious. To, so the range is how far the torrent will shoot. So um, if my range is uh, leveling up, I will be able to shoot more. And if my range is the level is up and higher, the range of the laser will shoot out. And the speed is how fast it will shoot. So uh, to answer Karin's question last time, uh, the range is how wide the, the torrent will shoot and speed is how fast the laser beam will shoot out. And also I'm gonna tell everyone here that for people who just started this game and uh, right now we are not open. So for those who are curious about this game while watching the stream, you can always go to the live comments and leave out some questions. We can always tell you and we can always answer you if we see it. So make sure uh, you're mostly welcome to ask any questions and also shout out to the 1.8K uh, viewers that's here. Um, hello everyone and we are here to just talking about how each uh, city defense are for example the dome is how strong it is so what is the damage Erlen what is the damage that is it higher the damage that da you can take more damage so like the level high the level of the damage is higher then you will be able to take um, enough so how much damage one bullet will make to the rover attacking I see okay so the more damage in the level is um the more um you can endure it's like like endure how how much of the fire the more damage the faster your torrent will destroy an attacking rover i see Oh, that's good. Oh, okay, okay. So all the city defense are all focused, other than the dome, all of them are focused on the the torrent. Uh, yeah. I see. So what is the hidden mine? I know what a hidden mine is, but are we allowed to know how many of them or how rapid, how many can it be planted? Hidden mine you can put on the map. Oh, okay. They are invisible to attackers. I see. But when a attack rover step on it, it will explode. Oh, so when the game is released officially, we will have the ability to hit our own mines. You can click mine button. Ah, I see. Ah, okay. Oh my goodness. This is amazing. I didn't know this before. Ah, I learned everything. I learn a thing every day. Learn new things every day. Oh my goodness. So I can just put it wherever. Oh, so what is the red and the green? Is it red that I cannot put it because it's too near to my city? And then if it's outside, it's more? Ah, I see. For the longest time. I think you can put this in your tutorial too, Erlen. Just as, you know, side note. I'm a gamer experience now. I'm a feedback. I'm doing feedback right now. 
Yeah, next version. Okay, thanks. I'm, I love that you got noted. Oh my goodness. Okay, so that for the longest time, I keep thinking the mind is like telling me to go mine something. Ah, another one, I'm gonna put it... Bing. Here, here, here. No further. And click yes. Oh, I can see it. Okay. So, is it, for example, let me see. Oh. Here. Oh, I didn't click. Okay. All right. I was like, I, I, I was confused a little bit. I, was, I thought I put it there and then because I didn't click yes. So, it didn't officially bury in it. I see. All right. Fetching data. So is it like how the amount of level you have or how many mines you can have? So for example, I saw that I have two and I'm also level two. Oh, okay. So so it is it is confirmed. The amount of mines are the amount of levels you have. So if you're a level two, you can have two mines. If you are level three, you can have three mines and so on. All right, that's cool. Let's see. Okay. So it's fashion data. I, I don't know if it's, um, I think it's doing the thing where like it, it, it glitched a little bit. We changed the system for mine, so it may be stuck. Ah, I see, no worries. So maybe I can refresh the page and then maybe maybe you'll go back to my my thing. Yeah, let me just refresh it. No worries. I always love this entry. Yeah, let me go in, connect to my wallet too. So, um, let me see, going into my city. So when I'm looking at it, I won't be able to see it, right? When I'm like in this city, in, in the city site. I don't think I can see it, but for example, let me go see. So yes, the hidden mine, I, oh, I, I'm level three now. Maybe I will have three mines. I have one here and one here. I didn't see where's my third one, but that's okay. Oh, it's only for battle arena. I see. Okay. Well, that's cool. Let me see. Oh. I'm, I'm being, st oh, okay. I was like, oh no. I, I, I did the thing. All right, so for example, here, I remember that when we just started, I can have two machines. So um, it says that here it says repair, but I can't click on it. Can you, can Erling, you explain to me how this work? I also want to level up because I have all these resources. All right. Yep. Okay. And I want to, I want to upgrade all these. Upgrade, upgrade. This is like very addicting to me to like come back and see that I can upgrade more. So let's see. Okay, 
just gonna upgrade all of it. Alright. So for the repair, Erlen, repair, did you see? So the resource extraction, yes, this is where we are. So I remember that we have these two that, that are mining. That's why our uh, Kryptonians are so much because we have two Kryptonian extract the machine. So repair is a system where you need to uh, spend resources repairing the extractor or they will stop extracting. I see. All right. It will be available in the future version. I see. So that's why we cannot use it right now. So don't no worries on it. So I'm just curious to see. And for for example, that's what we, I mean by I don't have enough city. So let's see. Early, you want to come back to 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 us? Yeah. What about oh my you? goodness! Hi. Long time no see you. Long time no see. You aged quite a bit. <laughs> yeah, I'm more, I'm more wise. Uh, you are more years. wise now. You are a wise man now. All right. So, so, so that's what I mean about um upgrade, like having more cities. Because right now, for example, I can only use this for Kryptonian, right? So this, this one, this building itself can only have a uh, Kryptonian mining. So if I want, for example, yield stone to have two extractors, I will need to build another city like this, building like this to yes. to have it, right? Mm -hmm. yes. cool. Yeah, this is something also that was very important uh, feedback from the community because, for example, when you select uh, something in your building, right, you can mm. select a type of resource or a type of or group of skills, many players were like, Ah, but I cannot change it. And for me, that was also very obvious. Like, if you select, you cannot change. But they told yeah. me that I didn't. I didn't know that I cannot change. So I just selected yeah. at random. So now it has like a warning. If you, if you select one, you cannot change. So this kind of big bag is very good because it helped me to put more details on the game to make it more accessible. Yes. So, for example, mining research. This is um. If I upgrade this, this is uh, the amount of time that that it can be fast. How how fast it can mine, right? Yes. How many resources you get every hour? I see. Okay. So this one also got fixed. So this one is the yield stone. If I want to have another one for, um, for example, the central light, then yeah. then I will need to build another mining research building for it. So in the full game or in the next version that you can have the building, when you when you click to make a building, it tells you what uh, what function it has. So you can read before you build. I see. So you have like a you know a warning before. Nice. Okay. I don't understand so why. Your buildings are upgraded. You don't have enough? Ah, yes. You only have 2,090. Ah, yeah. I don't have enough of that. Maybe try to um, destroy some buildings and steal resources. Yeah. You know me. I will never get it. <laughs> I think I think we can we can we can wait until the next time to have a better a uh, better chance. But right now, I am very content for what I have right now. I'm a humble, I'm a humble woman. <laughs> but you are, you are increasing your attack. That's good. That means every yes. every shoot will count. You don't need yeah, to Yeah, exactly. So yeah, thank you for joining back on. My pleasure.
Yes. All right. Well, thank you, Erland, for joining. And hi, thank you, everyone, for joining. And say hi to Erland. <laughs> all right. I'll see you later. All right, Erland. See ya. Thank you. See you, everyone. All right. Bye. All right. So that is Erland. So for those who um excited for the next stream our next stream will be next week at the same time so thank you for coming and joining us so make sure you follow all of the handles <laughs> all of here so make sure that you come here to uh, follow us and if you want to see uh, this stream again you can go to our youtube we have our video over there as well and thank you so much for joining me today with um erland to play some games and i hope you guys have a good day good afternoon good evening and good night and side note tomorrow we are having a day off so we won't have stream tomorrow so be aware our next stream will be next week so thank you so much for coming here and say hi and support me and support the channel and support our stream and this game. Thank you so much. And I'll see you guys later. All right. See you guys.